Can I get Danielle Jarinski back out here with me, please? Can we get her? Can we get her back out here? If I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it with the person who saved my life. I've met a lot of heroes in Colorado, so many in this room. Four years ago when I moved into that apartment, I never thought that I would be run out the way I was. It's just a matter of time before this gets to your community. You're all seeing indications of it now, every one of us in here. We've all seen it in our communities. We've seen it across Aurora. Now we're seeing it in other cities nearby. I was a lifetime Democrat. I'm ashamed to say that I thought that this was a solution. Being called a liar has changed. It's changed me, it's changed my opinions, it's changed how I look at things. I am tired of the gaslighting, and it's time for someone to admit there is a problem and to fix it. I was harassed in my properties. We were run out of our home after four years. The loud music, the destruction, the gunshots, the crime. We were being overran, the police are overwhelmed. Like a lot of you guys out there, you guys are also experienced how the police have stopped coming to your calls. Yeah? It's not just me, it's all over the United States now. We have to do something to make a change. When Danielle, when she come and moved me out of that apartment, I had no hope. I called out to all the community services that I could get. I wasn't an immigrant. I didn't qualify for any of them. I was alone. And Aurora police and the, the governor refuse to even admit that there is a problem. We all know there's a problem, right? You can feel that there's a problem. When Danielle called me and told me that she would help me move out of that, I was crying, just weeping because I never thought that I'd be able to escape that. This is going to keep happening unless we elect Donald Trump. We need a change. What they're doing isn't working. Danielle came in and saved me. And like so many others in my building, we had no place to go. You guys are experiencing it in, in your neighborhoods as well now. While our government's steadily gaslighting us, what's it gonna look like in four more years with the borders open? We're not gonna have a country. We're not gonna have towns. We're not gonna have cities. We're gonna have slums. As a lifetime Democrat, this experience has opened my eyes and we've got to make a change. We've got to. I'm voting for Trump. Join me. Join me and vote for Trump. Let's have change. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you.